It was an eventful travel to California. Let me tell you about it. Good girls! So we started off by packing on the day of our departure because our flight was at 6 p.m. So we figured we had the morning to pack. And of course, we're going to our house, so we don't need to pack that much. Oasis always loves when the carriers are out. He insists on Herky and Milton going in because they are such seasoned travelers. This is what our entire crew looks like. We have one stroller, one car seat, Herky and Milton, one luggage, and two backpacks. I find this is the lightest you can actually travel given the number of people that we have. But look at how big the toddler car seat as opposed to the baby car seat that we previously had. And this one is very heavy so if ever you're traveling with a toddler just be aware that it is very heavy this part is definitely the heaviest because you have to check the luggage in and then you have to drop off the car seat at the oversized luggage drop off so you actually have to bring your luggage all the way there but after that all we have left is the stroller and the girls security is the most stressful part and this was right after we passed security Andy takes Herky and Milton out of the carriers and through the metal detectors, I take Oasis and the stroller and the girls just ran to me afterwards. There was not a lot of people at the security, so it was very pleasant. We were able to sit at the lounge this time and Oasis was able to look at all the airplanes, which he loves. We were able to grab a nice meal. Herky and Milton were able to pop their little heads out for a little bit and they got some cuddles from Oasis. I'm not sure how much they like that, but Oasis really wanted to entertain them and he left his little toys in the carrier for Milton. Milton is telling me that I owe her money and Herky is telling me that I owe her chicken. This is Milton's face after she clearly took a nap, although she will deny it if you ask her. But I really think she did take a nap. This is Andy's face after they told us that the plane was delayed. It was delayed for 30 minutes and it was so expected. I feel like airlines and airports are so unorganized lately and everything is always delayed and canceled. I really pray that everything did not get canceled. We kept getting delayed so we took Herky and Milton out for a little stroll to the potty area for them to walk around a bit and to be able to get another potty break before we got on the plane. When we finally got onto the plane, the flight was three hours delayed, but so by this time it was about 9 p.m. Eastern, and I'm so happy that we got Oasis his seat. We traveled about one week before his two-year-old birthday, so it wasn't mandatory to get him his seat, but look at how much space he's taking. This was definitely needed, and I'm very happy we did it. By the time we got to California, we landed in San Diego. It was about midnight. PST, so you can only imagine how tired we all were. Oasis was super excited and happy. Herky and Milton were very happy to be out of the carriers. At this point, we had to take a shuttle to the car rental center to get our car to drive to the hotel. You can imagine that it was very late at this point, so we couldn't drive straight to our home, which is about an hour and a half to two hours from LAX and from San Diego airport. So we wanted to try San Diego airport this time. Since we landed so late, we just thought it would make sense for all of us, including the kids especially, to sleep one night in San Diego before hitting the road the next day. Oasis was so happy to be reunited with Milton, and Milton and Herky were just happy to be out of the carrier, honestly. At the car rental center, you have to take an elevator, and then after you check in with your car, you have to watch your car. So at this point, it was a bit hectic, but not so bad because Herky and Milton were on a hands-free leash. We all had a good night's sleep, but Oasis was up bright and early at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. He was not affected by jet lag at all. I was so tired, but it is what it is. Herky and Milton deserved a fresh breakfast after that day of travel, so we took some eggs from the buffet downstairs and they gobbled that right up. It was such a good breakfast for them and I felt bad that they were eating kibble the day before because we were traveling, so this was very good for all of them. I'm actually getting terrified at how Milton sharks the food now and of course Herky always sharks the food and it's always terrifying, so I ended up um, throwing it on the floor for them to eat. More cuddles from Oasis for Herky, always. It was time for the morning walk, so we took Herky, Milton, and Oasis out for a little stroll. The hands-free leash is really a game-changer for us, and we don't know how we ever walk without it. 
We found a little beach right by the hotel, so we took all the kids there. Herc and Milton were very excited to find the beach, and I love that Oasis is starting to pose now. There was not a lot of people around here, so we decided to let the girls have a little off-leash time. And it was so freeing to see Herky and Milton at the beach again. We haven't had the chance to take them again, but they are truly the happiest at the beach. They love running free, they love roaming, they love sniffing everything, they love exploring. And there's really a sense of peacefulness when you see them being so happy at the beach. Then we continued on a little stroll and the sun decided to make a little appearance by the time we ended the walk, which was really nice. You can see the beautiful colors of San Diego. Herc and Milton were very dirty after the walk, so of course we had to go back to the hotel and give them a bath. If you ask Herky, she's going to tell you she doesn't need a bath, but I think she really needs a bath. She has sand all up in her face even. This was how dirty they were. <laughs> we didn't have any shampoo, so I just watered them down and got as much sand as possible off of them. This is what the water looked like after I took them out of the water and after draining the bath. The girls were as clean as they could be and we all took a little nap before hitting the road. When we were on the road, we had to make a pit stop because poor Oasis was car sick and we had to attend to that. It was a disaster. To cheer him up a bit, you can see that he's crying here. I put Milton on his lap for a little bit to cheer him up. He was very happy to be reunited with her. And then when we finally made it to the home, it was a very long day. It took us almost like two days to do all of this, but we made it safe and sound. Talk to you soon. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.